Dina, Warthog Princess, and welcome back. I feel like it's been forever. I have missed you guys. Anyways, the the video for today is a log haul. I finally got my Apollos. But before we get into that, let's look at just two quick items from Jujube. Um, I recently had an order from the warehouse sale and they had given out random free coin purses with some of, some of the orders. I was very fortunate to have gotten one of those and I got a Wonder Woman, which is a beautiful rainbow colored thing, but it really is not for me and I didn't have anything at all to go with it really. So I had said I might be willing to trade and I got taken up on that offer and uh, Lee offered to trade and she had several to pick from and she had a nightmare before Christmas. And um, she also had a gray matter, which I was also interested in. So. We ended up doing a trade. I got two coin purses and she got a Wonder Woman coin purse and a custom bag charm. So it was a win-win for both of us. And thank you, Lee, for that. So these two, um, the Night Before Christmas is a black and white pattern. It is a Disney collaboration. And it has these two characters. It's actually identical on the front and the back, which is kind of funny, but I don't mind the pattern placement. Um, it's a small piece with the repeating pattern. So something was gonna be missed. So I got a headless ghosty, but okay. Um, then the gray matter is kind of like a material feel. It's not the slicky feel. It's more fabric-like. And it's kind of like the lug heather gray, except it's a more coarse material. So you can kind of see that. But anyway, so that's it for that. But I have been forever trying to find a, hi baby, come on. Ah. <laughs> Just look at my elbow. Um, I've been trying to find the Lug Apollo in the Nautical Navy and it would pop up and then it was gone. It would pop up and it was gone. And multiple sources, multiple attempts and I kept missing and all the amazing Lug Nuts kept going, check it out, check it out. And I kept miss, miss, miss. Anyways, they finally brought them back and they brought back a bunch of new ones and uh, anyway, I got my Nautical Navy finally. Yay! So Here's my Lug Apollo tote in the Nautical Navy. It is a navy background with the white embroidery on the top. And it's pretty detailed embroidery, actually. All of that's embroidery. Um, but yeah, so it, it's great. And <laughs> so I bought this on QVC. That's why it's unwrapped already. It came first. But I have more in the box, which we'll do an unboxing too. So uh, the Lug Apollo is a great, it's a large size tote. It's not gigantic. It is, can be used as an everyday purse kind of tote, a work bag, a travel bag. It's pretty good size. There's the base of it right there for reference. And as you can see, it does have feet. It doesn't have the wipeable bottom as far as the extra plastic layer, but this material is very wipeable indeed. So you got that, you got the little lug logo down here on the bottom on the navy colored plate. And you have the loops for the crossbody straps, which is removable and adjustable. We'll get to that in a second. Then you have your two straps and both straps have this like no slip grip right here and it goes all the way around. So nice little handle grab and that really helps keep it from sliding off your shoulder all the time. I really like that feature actually. Um, the bag itself has your phone pocket up front. That's the soft line pocket with the magnetic closure and it's sort of discreet right there on the front. On the back, Unlike the Vera totes that are decorated on the front and they have nothing on the back, I love, love, love that Lug did not skimp on the back pockets um, just because the front was decorated. So that's a great thing and I wish Vera would bring that back too. But this one has three things on the back. It has this very robust trolley sleeve, which does not have a zipper on the bottom. So it is strictly a sleeve, but right above that behind it, you have a zipper pocket. Look at that red, white, and blue stripe. Kind of thing it's really very nautical very fun uh, but this is a big pocket it basically is that whole back panel down to that bottom seam and i understand why the trolley sleeve stops there but i don't understand why this pocket couldn't go to the bottom maybe it's just simplicity of sewing i don't know but it is a nice large pocket and a beautiful smooth zipper and these zippers are really interesting because they're like a silver metallic but then they have this like red stripe within it so i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it there you go kind of turn it you can kind of see that red it's really kind of cool and then they have this other zipper pocket which is not soft lined but is about the same size as the foam pocket on the front so it goes down to that second line right about so you got that 
And then it has this nice zipper closure across the top, inside, pop of color. Yeah, so here's your strap. The strap is just a plain navy strap, adjustable, removable, not padded, and there's not any no slip grip on it. I don't think it's necessary, but there you go. So you have that. And then inside you have two big elastic cargo pockets on one side, and on the opposite side, which is the front, you have a clear plastic pocket that is just one big clear plastic pocket. So very, very cool, nice bright interior, and that is that. But even though it's not a new item for today, I brought out the Aerial Tote. I think it's an Aerial 2, but um, I don't think this says on it. It just says Aerial. But this one I had first. This is not new today. Uh, yeah, Aerial 2. But it's also nautical navy. But I brought it out just for comparison. Like the pattern is identical, just sized up proportionally. The material is slightly different. This is more of a brushed navy, and this is a regular slicky navy. Um, but if I put them like corner to corner down here, you can kind of see it's not a perfect thing, but it's about two thirds the size of the larger tote, which is a huge tote. So when you look at this one, a lot of the same features, except the no slip grip is only on the bottom side, not wrapped all the way around. Kelly, stop licking me. Hi, baby. Come on, come say hi, come on. <laughs> hi. Okay, come on. Um, yeah, but basically the same. You have the pocket on the front, your two pockets and trolley sleeve on the back. So basically the same, just bigger. And in this case, the zippers do have that same red line in there. I don't know how well you can see that there. But on this one, the zipper pulls are these white nautical ones with an anchor on it. So kind of cool, different zipper pull, but still just as smooth, same, same. And the inside, interestingly, is the same. It has two elastic cargo pockets and a really big clear, clear view on the other side. And the strap in this case does have the removable pad on there as well that does have the no slip grip on it a little bit. So basically the same bag in two different sizes, proportionally larger feet. Going cruising someday soon. Yeah, so that's nautical navy. So excited. Now this. So much fun. I love unboxing stuff. So look at this box. It's a fun box too. You got all the different lug bags and stuff. So I guess you'd call that like a lug multi. Um, but let's open this sucker up. Ooh. Just arrived. I was so excited when the postman came. <laughs> Kelly was too, but she barks at everybody at the door. All right. Oh my goodness, this is a big box. The bigger is better. Okay, so life is better with lug. Your lug life starts from within. See that? Here comes all the stuff. <laughs> okay, so we have tissue. Buy tissue. And okay, let's see what we got here. That's some stuff. We'll get to that at the end. Some other stuff. What is this? Oh, I know what that is. Never mind. Oh, I said I got three more. It's actually two more. Three total new ones, and I have the Heather Gray. So I have the Heather Gray, the Nautical Navy, Flamingo Black, which we're about to see, and Stars and Shells Navy. So those are the four Apollos. Because I really like this size of tote. I think they're oh, I need scissors for that. This one is the flamingo black. Oh, so pretty. And this we're gonna see again in the very next video because flamingo black is a theme in that one. So we'll come back to this one again, and that look will be a little bit briefer. So let's just look real quick at this, what it looks like. Okay, so first of all, this is a sort of brushed material. It's not the slicky material. Okay, let me 
stuff's gonna fall off. Um, but beautiful embroidery with the teal and the pinks. Yeah, it just, it so pops on that black. I really like it. All right, and the zippers are just monochromatic, but definitely a nice gunmetal gray, smooth zippers. Interior, of course, is flamingo black, so you get that beautiful pop of color as soon as you unzip anything. And inside, there it is again. So same interior we just saw. Awesome, I'm so excited. Okay, so these, by the way, are comparable to the Vera Bradley Vera Tote, size-wise. Obviously, the materials and configuration are different, but you get the idea. And we will do, uh, we'll, we're gonna start doing um, more comparison videos coming up soon. Since the hauls have slowed down a lot so I can pay off all my credit cards. <laughs> Been way too much shopping this past year with COVID and isolation and everything else. But we're gonna start diving into the comparisons and the deeper reviews of things and whatnot. And I'm gonna try and get a bunch of those done before I leave for a few months for the summer. We'll talk more about that later. But, all right, this is the Stars and Shells Navy with the beautiful seashells and coral on the front in the teals and light blues and white. It's not so much teal. Um, in the pattern itself, there is some teals, but this one is just mostly just lighter blues and blues and white. So blue, blue, and white, three colors it looks like. But very, very nice. It's like subtle but bold. I know that doesn't make sense, but in my mind it kind of does. So same configuration. In this case, it is gunmetal zippers again, and the interior is not the Stars and Shells Navy. It is a recoloration of it. So it's like this lighter cream colored background with the blues and teals on the pattern. I like that they did this in this case because this is a dark pattern, and even with the pretty colors on it, which we're gonna see again in a moment, um, this lightens up the interior quite a bit. And since it's such a big bag, it could be a deep, dark cavern if they'd left it a dark thing. So that was very smart on Lug's part. Plus it gives us another different look at something else. So I, I kind of like that they did that, but there you go. Okay, so that is the three new Apollos. Then I also got, um, so this one is new to me, but not this style. I do have several, of the Huggy Chuggies now. Most of them are the old style, and I have now two in this newer style that came with two different lids. So you have this one that has the, the loop that you can hook a carabiner on if you want, and it has a flip top drinkable top. Or it also has a second lid. Sorry, let me unwrap all of this. Um, so Stars and Shells Navy, there you can see the teals I was talking about in the pattern. So it's like more of the teals and purples. Whereas on the Toad, the Apollo, they didn't include those other colors. It's mostly just the blue and white. And I'm okay with that. Although, since I love purples and teals, I really would like to see them on there. But anyways, it looks nice. It's really, really nice. But I thought, if I've got all these Stars and Shells Navy and Nautical Navy, I needed to get another Huggy Chuggy that had the two tops. I particularly like this top because um, it's easier like when I'm walking the dog I can leave it inside the thing and I just flip that top I can drink and then let it fall back at my waist because I wear it cross body so that's that's what I like about it, it has this nice carry handle that folds down if you want. cinch top and it does have the insulated interior there which is really nice um, in Arizona and then I got good good pattern placement not perfect but I've got an almost intact starfish and shells and coral right on the front with all the colors included. So I'm really, really happy with that. The only thing that's only ever so slightly disappointing about this pattern placement is that I have a repeater right behind it. So not the end of the world. It is okay, but I just tend to not like, I'm like, there's so much more of the pattern. Uh, yeah, that just makes it look choppier when they repeat that close together. But the upper one does have more of the purples. So again, you know, I, I, I always acknowledge what the pattern placements are, but I am very open-minded about them in general. Uh, like I would never return an item for pattern placement alone. You know, I would be sad about it or whatever, but I would always keep it. So I'm not that picky. Um, okay, then on the back, you see some of the other stars and shells with all the colors. 
and the corals. So that is the main thing. You have big pocket here. This is great for the foam. You can see the interior pattern there as well. It does have this removable adjustable strap, which I like to wear crossbody in general, um, but you can wear it as a belt bag and you have the two loops to use for that. And then it has this front pocket right there as well. The front pocket I use to put, like right now I'm carrying a mask and a chapstick and my gate key for the walking gate. And then in the back I carry my phone and my water. On the side I usually have a hand sanitizer clipped on there even before COVID and well beyond COVID. Because if you're picking up dog poop or you're handling anything out walking, you just wanna wash your hands on the go. It's a great way to do it. And then I clip Kelly's um, collapsible water bowl on the side as well. So that when I go out to walk, she knows if I grab my, it's actually my Buffalo check red. If I grab that and put it on, she knows that we are going for a W-A-L-K and she gets all excited. She's so smart. Anyways, okay, enough about all of that. The last item I bought is another new item, new to me and new to Lug. Um, and you can tell it's a vegan leather because I got the dust bag that it comes with. And this one is the Flare XL in navy. Oh, this it does feel like a very soft, supple leather. It reminds me of the Vera Bradley Sycamore leather, which is a real leather, um, but this feels a lot like that. And look at the, the quilting. This is a new style of quilting I haven't seen before, um, but it's very classy. So this is a bag that I felt like, just looking at it, you know, um, online and in some other people's pictures and videos, I just think it's a bag that you can dress up or dress down. Um, for me, mostly middle of the road there. Um, but you could. It could be a fancier bag if you so desire. But it's a good size. I didn't like some of the other vegan leather ones, and I'm glad that I waited because even though they're great and I would make them work, of course, any size is good for me. It just depends on the day and what I'm going to carry and plan and whatever. But this is a great, more versatile size for me because it's kind of generous, not tiny and not huge. Anyway, it has this nice new logo, the way they have that embedded there in the material. So that's kind of cool. And on the front, you have your magnetic foam pocket with a soft lining. And on the back, you have another zipper pocket. And this one goes down to about right here. So it's the width of the zipper and right there, a nice little rectangle pocket. And the interior is lined in this case in the leopard navy. And I went with this color for a couple reasons. One, because I really, I have a lot of black bags, so I didn't need another black bag. I also would not do a white. That's straight out for me. I know it's beautiful, but it's not my thing. Um, yeah, and all the other colors, yeah, they're okay. But this one with the cam, or not camo, the leopard navy, I have some leopard navy accessories, so for me that just kind of made it a nice gap filler of sorts. Um, all right, so on the top you have a zipper closure right at the top. Oh, and it's hooked on to the tag strap. Hang on, it's all tangled up. There we go. Okay, so nice. Oh, the zippers. I love that about lug. It's probably my favorite thing about lug, honestly, is the zippers, the hardware. Um, there's the removable adjustable strap. There are two straps with this bag. So there's one and there's the other. So, you know, and I'm going to leave them connected for now. But you get the long strap is the regular leopard navy strap. Again, removable and adjustable. And then it has a short strap that is the vegan leather. And that's the navy vegan leather, just like the rest of the bag. Um, both of them have the gunmetal hardware on it. So... There's your options, so you can kind of see how the Leopard Navy goes nicely. And I guess that's really the big trend is to have the, you know, pop of color on your straps. That's fine. Um, there you go. And then inside, let me empty out some of this. And then we got the cards and the silica pouch. All right, so inside you have a key bungee with the clip on the end. On the front of the bag, you have six card slots. You have three and three, and it does come with one of those compliment cards. Wherever you go, may your guardian angel watch over you. And on the back, oops, on the back, it's just lug. Live life in color. 
But so you have six, you have three and three, and then behind that you have a larger slot, like your cash drawer, if you will. So if you're a built-in wallet kind of person, that could be a great option. If not, you have a skinny pocket there that you can use for other things. On the opposite side, you have two elastic cargo pockets, and you do have a zipper privacy pocket on there as well. And this one is this wide from finger to finger, width of the zipper, and it goes down um, not quite halfway. So on the back, you can see that that top pocket only goes down to right there. Excellent. And then the base of the bag, you can see the rectangular base. That's good size bag. It is tapered a little bit in two directions. So if you're looking at it this way, it tapers outward towards the top. So it is wider at the top than it is at the base. But then when you look at it from the side, you can see it wider and it narrows this way for the tapering. So it's kind of a triangle shape from the side, but very, very nice. And interior, it is a little bit dark, um, which I'm not complaining about because I like the, I like it just like it is, um, but compared to like the ones we were just looking at with those brighter color, it's, it's kind of dark, very, very easily accessible. So I, I really like this bag a lot now that I can see it and feel it finally, finally, for the first time. I really do like it. I think this was a smart move from Love. Um, but the only thing I would say is, you know, it's a leather bag, vegan leather or otherwise, and it's a more expensive piece. So I think it should have feet. And I would say not the lug plastic feet that we normally see, but maybe like some metallic feet. Because it is a more elevated bag, so give it an elevated feet, um, you know. But just to protect the bottom of the bag. Because I know it's wipeable, but, and I don't want the plastic covering on. I think that would, you know sort of not be good for this bag but I just want to protect that bag a little bit so it does stand it has structure on its own and I look forward to giving this a try very soon I'll just put these back in here for now and that is all that I ordered let's see what else came in the bag this is new new arrivals are in bloom so it does have a coupon I think that's the pacer on the front there in white. I'm not, I might, might have the name wrong. No, that's right, pacer crossbody. So now in the vegan leather, you have the pacer crossbody, the tram wallet, the tempo tote, and that looks like it, but it just kind of shows what their new releases are there. And then there's another tempo on the back. So that's cool, always good. And in the envelope, dun, 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 the Love Live card, a thank you card with the family. So excited. Hang on, we'll get to that. Inventory. It looks like it's multi pages, they just put it on separate pages. I don't know why. Oh, because I made two separate orders and they shipped them together. Good news, bad news on that. The good news is it all came together and they were smart and because I ordered them right back to back, but I ordered separately so that I could take advantage of different coupons and deals because you can only use one, you know. Um, but the bad news about it is they gave me a key fob. They're doing this now. I'm so loving this. Love, love, loving this. I'm like, I love the pens. I would welcome them back. The pencils were great, but I have a gazillion pencils. This is something that is universally usable. Um, yeah, so, and I got Resort Black, which I'm totally loving. I got the blues and teals on the black. I did not get any of the pink, but that's okay. I don't care, I'm super happy. So yay, my first independent key fob from them. So that's really cool. Had they shipped two separate orders, I maybe would have got two key fobs. That's okay, I'm not trying to be greedy at all, not in the least. I am just really thankful that they do such a nice thing to send things out with their orders. I think that's a lovely gesture. And I know all the other love, love nuts love it too, so there you go. Um, and, yeah, a pack of masks, also complimentary. Thank you, Lug, for that. Thank you very much. Coincidentally, I am going to Orlando next week for four days, short trip. But this is the Beaker Magic Places. Beaker 2's, in fact, because it has the little vent holes. I already bought this set because 
I wanted the magic stuff. And I also bought it really because I wanted that fireworks navy one. So now I have a second set. So if you're looking for this set, give me a shout. Maybe we can make a trade for something. Anyway, we'll talk more about that some other day. But thank you to love for the free masks. Yay. All right. And that is it for this haul. Like I said, I do have some more lug and other stuff coming up. As I, I have like three different videos prepped on the table right now. So more to come. And one other note I'm going to start plugging for. I have 1,499 subscribers as of today. And so very close to the next mark. So at 2K, we're going to have a giveaway. And we'll talk more about that later. But if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that because then we'll get to there faster and you can have a chance to win. So bye for now.